This is a special report from About Space Today. And here we are with Mars Perseverance, 51 years later, getting ready to do the first ever Mars return mission. Eventually, we can bring those samples back to Earth and determine for the very first time, did life exist on Mars? Good afternoon on this, the launch of the historic mission to Mars and back. After a flawless launch, the Perseverance rover is now on its 266-day mission to land in the crater Jezreel in February of 2021. The Perseverance Mars rover is like anything that we've ever launched before. In that, it will collect soil and rock samples and then return them back to Earth. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine says this is a NASA first. And this is the first time in history when NASA has dedicated a mission to what we call astrobiology, the search for life, either maybe, maybe now, or ancient life on another world. And of course, when we go to the Jezero Crater, which is um, obviously a big crater on Mars, but it's also a former lake bed, and it had a river that flowed into it, and that river delta is a place where we believe there could be, I'm not saying there is, we don't know, but there could have been at one point in time uh, life. Um, we know that Mars had a, a very active atmosphere and a very active hydrosphere, that it was protected from the radiation of, of deep space at one time, three billion years ago. In other words, Mars was at one time habitable. We know that because of past missions, spirit and opportunity. And now that we know what the history of Mars was, we can say, okay, maybe there was life there. Let's go find out if there was life on Mars. And in fact, the other exciting thing is we're going to cache samples. We're going to cache samples on the surface of another world for a future mission in 2026 to bring those samples back to Earth. And that will be the first time in history that we've done a Mars return mission. In fact, it's the first time in history we've done a return mission from any planet. So it's, uh, these are very, very exciting times. Very important mission for the United States of America. And of course, a very, very important mission for the world. Jim Bridenstine, NASA Administrator, who adds that the name Perseverance was a great choice. I think the, the name is, is perfectly appropriate. Uh, a young man in Virginia named Alex Mather, uh, a, a seventh grader, is the person who named it. And so um, we, are, we are in extraordinary times right now with the coronavirus pandemic, um, and yet we have, in fact, persevered. And we have protected this mission because it is so important. We declared this mission to be essential, and there's a number of reasons why. And I'll just give you a few of them, of, uh, some of the reasons that excite me the most. Uh, first of all, you know, the president gave us an objective to go to Mars with humans, to plant an American flag on Mars. Well, in order to do that, we have to be able to sustain human life on Mars. So there's a mission on Perseverance called MOXIE. It's a technology demonstrator. How do we use the carbon dioxide atmosphere of Mars and create pure oxygen that we can use for life support? So that's a really exciting mission that is a precursor to an eventual human mission to Mars. Uh, but there's so much more. When we think about the Mars Perseverance rover, for the first time ever, we're going to fly a, a, a helicopter on another planet. We call it Ingenuity. And of course, um, Ingenuity is going to be a, a tech demonstrator for this particular mission. But in the future, it could transform how we do planetary science on these other worlds um, and eventually be a scout so that we can figure out where exactly do we need to send our, our robots? Jim Bridenstine, NASA Administrator. So stay tuned to watch and hear the sounds of the landing on another planet on February the 18th, 2021. Thanks for joining me today and be sure to follow us on Facebook at AboutSpace.today and listen Friday for America in Space with Rick Potluck from our Washington Bureau as he reports on the Mars helicopter. And don't forget to share our program with your family and friends. Join me next Tuesday to meet the new Assistant NASA Administrator in charge of HEO. I'm David Denault. 
This has been a special report from About Space Today.